Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing episode number eight of I Build Your Teams, the series where I build my viewers' teams for the best, into the best squads possible for my team Unlimited. I used to say and our competitive play, but there's not really competitive play anymore, unfortunately, on my team. Hopefully, that'll return at some point with a one-up to turn here or something along those lines. But as of right now, we're just looking to build the best team possible for Unlimited or whatever the case may be that you're into grinding. So first team today comes in for my boy, Igor. He's got 450,000 MT and he's got himself a pretty solid squad. A lot of his players already on his team are very good pieces. He's got D-Wade, Donna Mitchell, and Sean Livingston. I think his point guard position is pretty set. Steve Smith, AK, Jaron Wilt, even a guy like Serge Ibaka, Dominique Wilkins, pretty good cards. I would say Sam Jones and JaVale McGee are his two worst cards on his team. With 450,000 MT though, he's got enough MT to make some changes and um, definitely swap a couple things around and improve his squad a bit. I will say the biggest upgrade in my opinion probably is gonna be your shooting guard position or maybe even small forward position. Um, I think I would probably just move Dominique to shooting guard, take Sam Jones out of your lineup and maybe guy, buy a guy like Scotty Pippen would be a, something to consider. You could spend the MT on a Paul George if you wanted to at shooting guard and then bring Steve Smith and Dominique off the bench if you wanted to and that would work great. That's just a much more expensive purchase. I don't know if you want to spend that type of MT on a card, but if you did, that would be an option. Um, in terms of a backup big, probably Anthony Davis is going to be your best option or you can grind out Cliff Robinson from clutch time online um so that you could get like a backup power forward next to a baka at the center position but uh, i would get that backup power forward and then i would also make sure to pick up a shooting guard i think a couple options like i said uh well i guess a shooting guard or a small forward it could either be a guy like paul george or a guy like scotty pippen or even like a budget card like a robert covington to give you more three and d versatility blake uh his second squad today he's got 120,000 in t and he's got d wade Kyrie, and uh that is those are his only two point guards booker paul george and steve smith scotty pippen glenn robinson sean kemp uh draymond jaron and carl anthony towns i'll be honest even if you're going to start Devin Booker for the playmaking, I would start Paul George. If you're going to spend that MT on him, throw him at the small forward position, bring Pippen off the bench, play Steve Smith as your backup too. You got to get Paul George in that starting lineup. He's one of the best cards in the game and you got to take advantage of him, especially if you're spending that much MT on the card for your team. The rest of your squad is fine. I would probably run a, five, a 10 man of D-Way, D-Book, PG, Kemp, and Jaron with Kyrie off the bench. Steve Smith at the two, Scotty at the three, Draymond at the four. Backup five is uh, Carl Anthony Towns. He is definitely your weakest link right now. Another position where you could upgrade with a smaller player like a Serge Ibaka, slightly more expensive with a guy like Anthony Davis or a free option, somebody like a uh, Cliff Robinson or potentially Wilt Chamberlain. If you're close to him on level 40, I would definitely grind towards that card for level 40 as well. Uh, but your backup big is your biggest spot and then finding a way to get PG into your starting lineup, which honestly doesn't seem too hard considering you have another shooting guard option in steve smith right here um and i think your team's gonna be looking really good third squad today comes in from beanbag he's got a hundred thousand mt pg and manu are sellable he's wondering what i'm thinking d wade Kyrie, paul george manu Kawhi. okay 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 we need sean livingston to be in this last three just so you have more size and versatility at point guard if you need it because Kyrie's a liability uh on the defensive end at times PG, Kawhi, Kemp, Pajera. That's a great starting lineup along with Wade. I love his starting lineup. The bench is weak. It sketches me out a little bit seeing Manu, uh, Xavier McDaniel, and Hakeem as well, specifically those three. Um, I don't know if your your X-Man or your Hakeem are sellable. I'm going to assume they're not because you didn't say explicitly they are, but if they are, I would definitely sell them. And I would also sell Manu. Um, X-Man is actually quite a solid card. I don't think you have to get rid of him, especially if he is unsellable. Um, I think he could definitely still play. I would say shooting guard, you need an upgrade, uh, and then you're going to need a small forward as well or some sort of wing. And I guess for the wing, just go with a guy like, I mean, you could go with a temporary option. Just go with a Robert Covington. I mean, you don't need to spend a bunch of MT on your shooting. You're on your small forward position. Do that. Slide X-Man to power forward and Serge Ibaka at center. And those, your three through five are going to be chilling. Your two is your biggest weak spot. And even if you sell Manu and uh, have whatever MT to buy a new player which is going to give you what around 150,000 mt i don't think for 150k there's really that guy who's worth buying unless you wanted to buy a guy like dr j uh i will say right now i would just be grinding towards wilt um there's just not that really good budget shooting guard who's a sapphire or ruby who's worth using as a filler unfortunately right now and if you want to buy a top tier small shooting guard it's going to have to be a guy like dr j probably would be your best value bet uh, at the shooting guard position and i think that is probably one of your weakest spots so maybe you spend the mt on dr j or maybe you wait and see if we get a free reward or something or something soon that can fill that spot um fourth team is asian pete davidson what this is a no money spent team just pulled and beat it out of a locker code pack though that's fire started playing this week already has 
Nas, Livingston, Steve Smith, Embiid, Jordan Walsh, West on sale. Bench is definitely weak, but that's fine. The starting lineup is already very, very solid. 58,000 of T says he's saving up for Kirilenko. I don't see the value in saving up for a Kirilenko right now when you can get a guy like Robert Covington and play him as your small forward along with Jordan Walsh. Have those two guys at small forwards for a total of like 10,000 of T between the two of them. If you really need a budget power forward, you could pick up a guy like a John Collins. Or no, no, you have John Collins. Pick up a guy like Jared Vanderbilt as well, the Emeralds, and if the Lakers win in the in-season tournament, he'll continue to get Evos as well, but he'd be a good option at power forward. Backup center is Sean Bradley right now, and while I don't love that card, I think it's fine if you want to leave him there. Your point guard and shooting guard off the bench is the part that worries me the most. I don't hate that John Starks card, but I like him more at point guard than I do at shooting guard, and then your shooting guard position just doesn't... Uh, I don't know. Tyrese Maxey is not that great. There's not really, again, like I said, that really good value shooting guard option right now. A guy like Sapphire Eddie Jones is a pretty good card at shooting guard. Sapphire Lou Dort, a couple of guys like that. If you're looking for somebody, Emerald Rajah Bell. If you want somebody to fill a spot, those guys could do it. Uh, and since you are no money spent, you don't have a ton of MT to spend. I would definitely, it doesn't s tell me what level you are, but if you could work towards a bead by the, I mean, till, towards Wilt by the end of the season, that'll help you out a lot. And again, this is one of those teams where you got to keep saving up some MT so that you can upgrade your guards a little bit more hopefully we get some attainable good budget cards and free cards over the next couple weeks and uh, you can continue to upgrade that squad second to last team today comes in from crusty 383,000 of t trying to get sga and wilt he's got Kyrie, mj d wade levine is a weird one uh, blake paulo mike and for some reason george we chris weber carmelo and tatum uh your big men confuse me a little bit blake and paulo is fine your centers are both kind of weak in all honesty if you could just run even like jaron jackson jr and then maybe Chris Weber off the bench. If you since you locked in Weber, I mean you could go ahead and use him still. But I would start Jaron and then bring Weber off the bench. You have the MT. It's worth picking up at least a guy. And then once you get Willett, you can take Chris Weber out of your lineup entirely. But until then, I would still pick up a Jaron. And then once you get Willett, Jaron could either slide to your four or to your backup five or something. But that'd be the first thing to do. Outside of that, your point guard position is fine. Shooting guard position, I don't love love Zach Levine because he's not an incredible shot creator. But I know you have him locked in for Blake. Um, and. He's a good shot creator. He's just not a great defender is the thing. He's slashing, shooting, and uh, his playmaking is pretty darn good. Uh, really good offensive card. Next to Wade, I'm actually pretty cool with it. I don't hate that. You really just need a big. Jaron Jackson Jr. will do the job, and then once you get SGA and both those will fill other holes on your team, and you will be just fine. Final team today, though, comes in from Oscar. He's got 121,000 MT. This is one of those teams that it's kind of hard to upgrade um, as of right now because the players that you would buy to upgrade are a little bit too expensive for your price point. With that being said, if Vince is sellable or Dr. J is sellable, I would recommend selling them because you can get a Steve Smith for free and save yourself 50,000 MT without really downgrading your team by plugging Steve Smith into your lineup for one of those guys and selling them back. So if either of those guys are sellable, that's 100% a swap that you need to make because that'll get you a lot more MT. Then you're just really kind of going to have to wait. You could buy an Anthony. You already have Anthony Davis. Never mind. You couldn't buy an Anthony Davis. Uh, but there just really isn't any guys right now that I think are going to fill that power forward or center position at a high enough level to make them worth spending MT on. That's why I say Steve Smith, I would add him to the lineup. I would add Sean Livingston to the last three as well, just to give yourself that really big, tall point guard in case you feel like you need it. Um, and this is a good No Money Spent team. Really good No Money Spent team. We're interested, I'm interested to see uh, how No Money Spent continues to progress this year. We will have getting that gauntlet, like I said, this week, which is a W, but uh, we'll have to see what that's looking like. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate you all. Peace.